Hi everyone. Welcome to the first part of this tutorial. In this tutorial I will walk you through how to create REST APIs using Spring Boot and Spring Webflux. What will be covered in this tutorial? In this tutorial we will cover Spring Webflux, Reactive Programming, Project Reactor, Junit Testing to test our endpoints, and also protect our API endpoints with Spring Security. Spring Webflux is reactive stack web applications built on a reactive streams API to run on non-blocking servers such as Netty, Undertow, and Servlet 3.1 Plus containers. For more information about Spring Webflux please visit documentation at spring.io. What is reactive programming? Reactive programming is a programming paradigm oriented around data flows and the propagation of change. It is about writing code that defines how to react to changes, such as user inputs or data coming from stream, in a non-blocking manner. Project Reactor. Reactor is fully non-blocking and provides efficient demand management. It directly interacts with Java's functional API, completable future, stream, and duration. Now, enough talking. Let's get started by create project for this tutorial using Spring Initializer. So, for the other settings I will leave as default. Project type, Maven project. Language Java. Spring Boot version, 2.2.6. Packaging, JAR. Java version, 8. Now, let's add some dependencies to our project. First, I will add Spring Reactive Web. Then, add Spring Data Reactive MongoDB for our persistence layer. And Java Annotation Library, Lombok. So, that's it for now. We might need some other dependencies, but let's add them as needed. Now, click on Generate, and it will download your project as a zip file. Next, let's extract the project zip file, then open it with your IDE, I will use, IntelliJ. You will get something similar to this for now, if you are using IntelliJ, I will do some cleanup before we continue. I did some mistake on the artifact name and project name, and now I have changed it. 
So, if you follow me and did the same, please go ahead and change that. Everything looks good now, let's continue to next step in next video. See you.